Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 20 of Let's Play Saviors of Sapphire Wings blindly. We have Friends for Life. All Squires' soul ranks have reached level 5. That's not true. They're, I don't think all of them have. Try making use of your subclasses. 31% of players have this. A Fragment of Phoenix. You release the first Leorith. Find the remaining ones to restore Phoenix's power. Weird that more people have the soul rank 5 than the Fragment of Phoenix. I would say that about 2% of people really grinded out that 5th uh, soul rank. Oh, turn it down here. And I did not... Um, Okay, so here we are. Um, first things first, before we head into the dungeon, we're going to head to the Hall of the Round notice board. Gemstone of Esselgard, quest objective. You'll listen to my request, right? Promise I'm not wasting your time. From Popolog. Hey, I got a request for you. Got a sec? I knew you'd get me, Sir Carson. Let me get straight to the point. I'm after something. A gemstone called the Ace... The Aesliege. Huh? What gemstone? Don't take advantage of Sir Carson's kindness for your own ends. I'm not taking advantage of Sir Carson. Get off my back, will you? Hmm, what's called the Aesliege? Aesliege, you say? Never heard of such a gemstone. Yeah, it looks just like a normal stone, so you wouldn't know it's rare by looking at it. I've got my own reasons for hunting it down, though. So that's why you've been traveling around. Any idea where this thing is? From what I know, it's in Esselgard. I mean, uh, it's probably there. Where did you get that information? There's a legend about it, Sir Carson. Seems the gemstone was brought there before the fortress fell. Because of that, I'm guessing there aren't any records about it left. But the Aesliege looks just like a normal stone, so I doubt looters would pay it any mind. That's tantamount to hearsay. We got nothing else, so we might as well go look for it. Just think of it as a treasure hunt. Saul, has anyone ever told you you're too nice? Don't let yourself get taken advantage of so easily. The A.S. Leash houses a ton of magical energy. We can't exactly leave it there, right, Sir Carson? Gemstone of Esselgard. Alright, Locus of Gone. Um, okay, let's land on the surface, save, no point really in meeting the, well, I guess we can go to the mysterious merchant, oh, he doesn't talk or anything, um, holy knife, a knife imbued with light, can hit undead, but can't hit spirits, raises mysticism and HP, attacks two times. So we'll go ahead and equip that on, let's see, the Elven Blade can hit Undead. Um, Holy Knife is a short range, so uh, I guess Lumi is going to have to use it. Yeah. Okay. And you can use the battle axe. Next favored by dwarves. Does that do more for that does more for him than it does for her? That's interesting. I did not know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. Alright, it's time to head into the dungeon and uh, start exploring. Fortress perimeter. Check the main gates. No, wait. Fortress South Roof Hall. Let's go with Lumi, Virgo, Popolog, you and you. Carson and the others use the rope to descend into the fortress. The dim light shining in illuminates the hall, revealing light brown stone. This seems to be the outer perimeter's hallway. Let's begin by heading further into the fortress. The castle lord's room should be quite close. 
Castle Lord's room, huh? I get the feeling we'll find something there, all right. Let's just be careful, okay? All right, I actually want to go check the main gates. <laughs> Carson and the party enter the fortress from the western main gate. The only sound is a whisper of sand trickling down in the earthen chamber. This is Ethel Esselgard's main gate. I'm sorry to say, however, that it is indeed sealed shut. I would have expected that the portcullis would be lowered. Hey, we've come all this way. Might as well go up and check, right? That must be the entrance. So, is it unlocked? Let's try it. Door is firmly shut. Hmm, it's locked, just as I suspected. We should try the hole that Popalog found. Ha, ah, that's the spirit. Okay. No real difference. I'm not going to use mints, probably. Because I think... We kind of have to get the soul gauges up of the people we're going to use and should focus on that rather than me messing around in... You know, leveling up a lot of the characters. Okay, how far does this go? Dead end. Um, let's go ahead and cast... Void. Huh. Let's get in a fight. Two chests. This salt slash a skeleton soldier, a familia, which is like a barbat, I guess. Okay, it's undead. laughing Oof Dang Slash Providence fight aim. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to eventually, after we get a few bucks here, um, talk with the mysterious merchant and buy some stuff that attacks undead. We're gonna be here for a while. Air Copper Potion Remedy. We're going Lumi on their way to five. Soul Gauge. Ooh, lots of levels. We're going leveled up. 
um, with strength. Speed by 26 for Rone leveled up. Let's go with Mysticism. HP by 16, MP by 12, learn Panacea. Alpha leveled up, MP by 13, learned Enhance Avoid. Securing the prison, the uh, perimeter. The blog noticed something. Small soul fragment. Worship Paul. We'll get there. That goes down. Let's come down this way. Fight. <laughs> One skelly. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get some undead attacking weaponry. Once we get a little GP, hopefully the skeletons, yeah, they give GP, so. Got magic grass. For that magic. Something that rhymes. <laughs> just kidding. Um, Alright, let's go in these rooms. Undead birds? No, they're just ravens. Dang, I should have taken Magic Veil. Oh no, they're just regular old weak ravens. Huh. Makes sense, ravens would be here though. Ooh. Great, beautiful feather, GP. Lord Assassin, perform a focus attack guaranteeing a hit on one enemy. We learn any other sages trap, slow a group of foes, and extend the time limit to take treasure boxes for three turns. Gale formation, yeah. Magic Veil. They cast an enhanced deployed. Here. These could really be tricky foes. The least defense is impenetrable. She took a projective protective stance. Bolt. Lumi stands in front of Aroni and takes a perfective stance, takes 61 damage. Ghoste is sleeping. At least it's putting them to sleep. Oh, they don't have a lot of energy. Nice. A lot of HP, I mean. And they give gold and two sub levels for Aroni and Alpha. Ronin leveled up, Undead Slayer rank 1, Alpha leveled up, learned Cleanse Poison. Hmm. Castle Lord's Room. 
hear voices coming from within the room. Hey, <laughs> hey, sorry, boss. Who are you calling boss? Hey, sorry, Master Almadel. So, have you captured that fairy who was trying to approach the dragon? Huh, sorry about that, about that, uh, Master Almadel. I was too so close to capturing that fluttery thing, but but what? Huh, sorry, my careless underling lost sight of her and <laughs> let her uh, escape. Let her escape. Ha ha ha! I see. So you let her escape? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah! These fools are all incompetent. You no longer hear any voices. Master, what was that? The voices of the dead. Yes, that is the only conceivable explanation. Those voices were really creepy. But they said something disconcerting. Something about a fairy and a dragon. Master, let's proceed with caution. Begin task the fairy in the ruined castle. Would be a good time to save. This is a rather large castle, it seems, thus far. Ushered in by a sudden shadowy wind, a lone man stands before you. He's... Please stand back, Master Carson. Hmm, what? What's all the fuss? The man stares at Carson with a sleepy expression and smacks his lips loudly. So, you're the eavesdroppers. Not that it matters much. We haven't discussed anything sensitive. Carson, yes. I believe this is our first meeting. My name is Almadel. Lord of the beings you know as vampires. Welcome to my humble abode. Why don't we chat for a while? It's been so long since I've had guests. I don't make deals with demons. Loosen up a bit, would you? Maybe in your best interest, you know. Now, is there something you wanted to ask me? Why are you here? Because it is the Overlord's wish, you see that I watch over this palace for those estranged from the living. It's quite befitting of me, no? Or so is the old Oma's attention, intention, I believe. You, the ruler of this castle? What a twisted joke. Esselgard is my father's fortress. Even without its king present, this place belongs to my kingdom. Oh my, Gromberg's little princess is here too. Sadly, all I hear is the quibbling of a failure. If you truly believe this castle is your birthright, what prevents you from claiming it now? I certainly won't stop you from trying. Ch Back at the demonic forest. Ah, is that so? My followers treated you rather poorly. But find it in your heart to forgive them. Those poor girls have committed no sin. Indeed, the infallible beauty of our kind prevents us from any wrongdoing. The altar of the spirit god. Oh my, are you searching for the sacred stones? The what's its name? Ah yes, the Leareth. My sincerest apologies. Sadly, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. The dragon and the fairy? Ah yes, the source of my latest headache. It was likely after that thing in the basement. Truly such troublesome company. Unfortunately, that's as much as I'm able to tell you. There's nothing I need to know. Well, suit yourself. While your stay may be brief, do try to enjoy your time here. Here within my fortress of death, you'll find no shortage of partners with whom you may waltz. Hmm. Well, it wasn't too bad, actually. You know, not... Uh, having to fight. crazy opponent at this level. Um, I'm 
fine with just skeletons and wraiths and stuff. Stole 42 GP, you thief. Get back here with that. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get some GP and well, we got double that 84. And buy some better weaponry. A quality vegetable. A small wind vial. Um, I do have something to report. Oh, we should not be here yet, I don't think. Let's head back. Yeah, here. Um, unfortunately, this game is not as large of a game as I, ex as I expected. Um, there's a whole thing with that. S according to how long to beat, um, this game is about 40 hours or something. Maybe even less. Um... Oh dear. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. And Savior, uh, Stranger of Sword City is about 50 hours. No, was this game, th this game was like 35 hours or something on how long to beat. Pretty short. By my standard, well not standards, but we got a remedy. Um, just by like, you know, how long, uh, um, let's try wheat flour, castle lord's room, how long, uh, I expected or whatnot, but basically, um, So the games combined took someone like 97 hours between the two of them, which is cool for both of them, but I would have liked that in one game, right? But anyway, my story continues with Stranger of Sword City Revisited, which I've spent about 35, you know, like 30 plus hours with already, and I'm nowhere near being done with that game. So I don't know if my playtime is skewed somehow, or if... You know, I wasn't tackling the dungeons in the right order or something. But basically, that game is going to take me a lot longer. I think I had like 30 hours in it at the time of this recording. And I don't feel I'm anywhere near done. I feel there's much more than 30 uh, hours left or 20 hours left. But yeah, that's my story. So this is a shorter game. But the good thing about the shorter game is that we, um, let's use Magic Veil, we can, uh, finish it and actually get a game finished on my channel, which doesn't happen a ton because I play so many games at once that essentially, you know, nothing gets finished except for a long time like it takes a long time to finish something which I'm fine with but what beautiful hair we got um so anyway that's the thing with the game time in this game simple hellhound it looks like yep Even without Popa Log handled it easily. Flower and beast meat. Um, let's put regular beast meat. So, um, yeah, it just is what it is. Oh, let's come here. Probably if we go to the left. Manure pile. Say what now? How long have we been playing? 
Oh. Oh, 25 minutes. Okay. Ignore pile. Search through it. Ignore pile. Okay, this goes into a new map, so let's just head to the worship rooms. It's a keyhole on the door. Oh, we never did get the key the key for the chest in uh Yin Siren. Remember the storage room or whatever, the treasure room? Never did get the key for that. I wonder if we're leaving stuff on the table because now we're you know, we're moved on from that area. Probably should have been something we got. Nice, a high potion, which is useful. So going back to 94 GP. Ooh, it worked. Going back to um, the time and length of the games. I kind of expected this one to have, like, a lot more than that. Because it seemed like they were setting it up. You know, you're going to be hunting rare monsters with the trap system. Um, you know, uh... Damn, we can't hit it all of a sudden. But, um... That is not the case, apparently. Let's get a high cure on Virgo. Oh. box with the helmet and Sword City before I looked at how long to beat I thought oh this game has you know a hundred hours of content it's so massively huge not the case again um that goes down so I don't know why like my playthrough of that one just stretched on higher than uh i expect or higher than the uh how long to beat but yeah i'm the type of likes long rpgs you know the longer the better really 38 burgos almost oh good Soul rank five, so we can maybe go rank him up. Who's hitting for that one forty two with the holy knife, Lumi? Yeah. Dang, they stole some GP. We'll get it back, though. All out attack. Oh, no. Well, that was the leader, anyway. I don't have to beat the combat in that time. Just the leader, thankfully. Clothing. We'll wait for Lumi to level up too. God Era Copper, White Bone, Undead Slayer rank two. Capture second floor southwest area. Alright, so let's head. Actually, let's head out. Because uh poor Popolog. Oh wait, I wanted to get to uh, get these, um... Uh, 
100% soul gauges. So we can go ahead and... I didn't put up. Okay. Good, we didn't need it. Panacea and Antidote. So we can get Lumi leveled up. Subclass is leveled up. Roni sub leveled up. Health is sub leveled up. Learn Mask here. Um, so Burgos at 100%, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get Popolog healed. Wusha Helmet and Healer's Tunic. Um, and I thought with the system of leveling up gear the way it worked, like, ooh, we'd be able to, uh, you know, take that to really high limits, but I don't know. He has a lot of cool stuff here. Fire Sword for 16,000. Chainball Steel, Custom Katana, Heavy Boomerang, Crossbow. So I guess we have a lot of money coming. Hmm, let's, um... Oh, why am I there? I want to, uh, check this Musha Helmet. A Helm for mid rank Soldiers adds Strength. Uh... You know, let's go ahead and give that to Lumi. Oh wait, that's Saul. There's Lumi. Lumi can't use it. Okay, Virgo can, so we'll go ahead and give it to him. And the Wing Helm. Lumi can use that, it raises agility. Very nice. Keep everything balanced out here. Um... Oh, and the healer's tunic. Do we have that already? Yeah, we have a healer's tunic. Um, what would I get for that? Just 300, so we'll just throw that stuff in the fire. Return to Rondair. Or the magic furnace. Throw in the healer's tunic. And the leather helm. See, it seems like it's, it's going to take such a long time. Like, oh man, it's really going to go on forever, that system. But hmm, apparently not. Um, let's call Burgo in. Burgo likes meat and alcohol, right? I know exactly what to prepare for him. We're going to make him excellent beast meat, a steak. He's going to love that. Mind if I come in? Oh, right, Master. Did I ever get the chance to fully explain why I was in Morlock? You were meeting a friend. No, I hadn't met up Zenuda until afterwards. The homeland of the dwarves, Balhael, was taken by the Overlord fifty years ago. When it happened, I was still just a brat who could hardly swing an axe. As you often hear in tales like mine, I got carried away by my youthful ardor. Hard not to, though, when your first battle is one that will decide the fate of your entire race. Frankly, I'd be more shocked to hear otherwise. So, I immediately shouldered my family's axe and rushed straight to the front lines. But, now you might call this the folly of youth. But I didn't go alone. I took my younger brother with me. He was five years my junior. Downright foolish is what it was. Regret won't change the past. That war brought young and old alike into a crazed frenzy. It was like our entire race was being dragged down into the whirlpool of fate. That bloody, desperate battle lasted for three long days and nights. When I came to, I found myself laying in a rotting pile of carcasses. Couldn't find my brother anywhere. In fact, nothing seemed to be living at all. Our home, the place we lived our whole lives, was covered in the bodies of the dead. You probably don't want to hear the rest. In order to find my brother and in order to avenge my people, 
I'll dedicate all of my strength to your cause. I resolve to follow each and every order, even if it's something Ball would oppose. Soul rank has become rank 5. Sweet. But I have to, have to, have to give my dude a steak. <laughs> Whoa, isn't this steak? This is just perfect. I absolutely love this stuff. I love it too. Seems we share the same taste then. I ought to get you a proper dwarven banquet one of these days. Let's start already, shall we? Virgo heartily stuffs the steak into his mouth. Phew, well, that's damn good. Another one. Wow, it did not... It only raised eight points. Surprising. Um, dismissed. Oh no, not dismissed. Call him back. Reincarnate, my friend. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> he didn't do much of anything except fight. Um... Probably fighter paladin. Really? Can someone very? Yeah, he doesn't really. Um. To wield. Uh, I maybe see him as a samurai. allies from enemy attack. Yeah, let's go Paladin. I'll be going then. Let's go ahead and re-equip him with the Battle Axe, Lucia Helmet, Battered Metal Armor, Wrist Guards, Leather Boots, Leaf's Plume. Alright, cool. Um, save, see how long we've been playing. Um, 36, so let's head to... The roof hole again. I was going to say we didn't go all the way at the bottom there, but we actually did, and there was a chasm. Alright, let's head into... Oh, yeah, a keyhole in the door. Okay, so... We go north or east? Southwest, southeast. And how was north? Not much happening north yet. Um... Let's head north, actually. Soul Slash, Providence, Tech, Aim, Tech, Wizard Bolt. Got one of them anyway. Large white bone. We don't want to get too far because the Lumi. We're going to have to uh, level her up soon. There's a keyhole in the door on North Way. Okay. Then I guess it is time to head east.
keyhole in the door. Huh. We can go... This way. Yes. Nice little combat. Oof. Okay, let's throw up a magic veil. One fifty five with a wizard ball. My goodness. How much HP do these things have? Quit stealing our money. Oof. Oh wait, we have a skill to imbue to hit these guys. They're stealing so much money. Attack, 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 aim. Don't you have... You have it. Wait. Oh no, just your magic weapons will hit. I can't imbue others with magic. Dang. It's just is what it is. Wizard Bolt has fallen off the face of the map in this fight. They're laughing with good reason. Somehow we knocked the skeleton out, rattled its brain. I don't know, 266. Lapis Lazuli, nice, and a sub level for Burgos Paladin. Those items on the other side of the chasms, yep. Panacea? Panacea? It's Panacea, right? Just like to have every area mapped. Another way down. Premium bird meat. That'll be our nice next meal in the chasm. Um. Oh. And what was here? Nothing. 
thing. Fight. Lumi is starting to take protections, protective actions against even magic that targets other party members, which is interesting. Nice, smoke bomb and remedy. 34 GP. The game probably is shorter if you don't map the entire thing like I'm doing as well. That's also to be considered. Um, considering this is the only way to go, I think, right? Yeah. Um, we should probably head down here. Uh, I think it's time to save and wrap it up, though. Simple Hellhound. Hundred percent for Lumi. So next time, actually, let's go ahead and turn home. Gonna save here, see how long exactly. 30. Yep, 44 minutes. Alright, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Love when you guys check out my videos. Hope you're enjoying the LP as well and this video. Hope you liked it. Um, next time, we'll talk to Lumi, break her through to the fifth soul ranking, get her a secondary class, and then we'll continue back at the castle and go to that spot with the rope down and head on down to the level below so stay tuned for that much more to come take care guys and i'll see you next time so long